So you've probably seen how route model binding works by default. Laravel uses the ID in the URL to look up and then load your model in the route. And for many projects, this works fine. You can use the ID in the URL or even hash the ID to prevent users from changing it and finding other models that maybe they shouldn't. But a neat feature of Laravel is that it also supports binding models based on things other than the ID. And to do that, I've set up a really fast demo. All it consists of is just an article model with no fields, a route that dumps the model onto the page as JSON, and then a migration with just the default columns. So if we swap to Chrome, you can see that right now, Laravel is looking up the model based on the ID in the URL, and that's the way it works by default. But what if we wanted to use something else here instead, like a slug or a UUID or a username or something else? Well, to make this happen, we need to do two things really fast. We need to add the column we want to bind with to the model's migration, and then we just need to tell Laravel that it should look up our model with that column instead of the ID as usual. So let's swap back to the text editor, and in our migration, let's add that column we want to bind with. Let's say, for this example, we want to bind the model using a slug instead of the IDs. So we'll add the column to store that slug. Now, since I've actually already migrated once to show you that first article in Chrome, I'm going to swap to terminal and I'm going to run artisan migrate fresh so I can roll back my migrations and rerun them so I have a fresh copy of all my tables. If you've already done work in your app with your model though, you may need to write a migration specifically to add your new column to the table. So now that the column has been added to the database, there's one last thing we need to do to make all this work. We have to actually tell Laravel to look up our model based on our new column instead of the ID. And we can do that really fast. Laravel makes it really simple to do. Open your article model or whatever model you're using and add a function called get route key name. And this function is super simple. All it needs to do is return the column name that you want Laravel to bind with when looking up the model. In our case, it's just slug. Once we save this file, we're actually done. Since we migrated the database already, we don't actually have a model to test with. So let's quickly swap over to Tinker and make one that uh, we can use to test with. Now, in real life, you'd probably create a slug based on the title of whatever model you're using. But for our case, it's fine. We'll just manually write them out. Now that we've done that, we can check back in the browser to make sure it all works. So if we refresh this page, we should now get a 404 because, again, we're not binding with the ID anymore. And we do. But if we use our new slug... There we go, we get the regular JSON response like we did before, so Laravel is binding based on this new column that we added. Now you might be wondering, how does Laravel actually know when it should load a model based on something in the URL? Well, it knows because we've type hinted our model in the closure in our routes file. So we've type hinted the model here and made sure we're using the, the correct statement up top. We're also naming this parameter after the article model. Whatever model you're using, you can just use the name there. And that's implicitly telling Laravel to load the model for us and make that available in the route. But if we use something called explicit model binding, we can gain a bit more functionality here. For example, what if we had some articles that weren't published yet? Episode one is published, maybe episode two is not. Well, we obviously don't want those to be available with their slug just yet. And using explicit binding, we can tell Laravel what it should and should not return when it's asked for our model in the URL. So let's do that. First, I need to add that status column and I'll do that behind the scenes so we don't waste time. All right, now that I've done that, let's keep going. All right, so let's make a few articles really fast. Again, I'm just going to use episode one as the first slug in this, in this case, let's make this one published. And let's make episode two. Uh, we'll say this one is unpublished. So episode one should be available, episode two should not. So we can actually make that functionality happen by going to our route service provider into the boot method. 
and we're explicitly telling Laravel whenever you see this being bound in the URL, just like this here, run this closure. And note that the parameter here is just whatever Laravel found in the URL. Let's add a semicolon. And in this case, we're free to do whatever sort of custom functionality we need here. In this case, we can just find wherever the slug matches. And if I just did first there, that's exactly what implicit minding is doing for us. That's what Laravel is doing automatically. But we want a bit more functionality, so let's actually filter by status as well. And we only want articles where the status is published. And we'll save this file. So now when Laravel attempts to look up and bind our model based on the slug, it'll only consider models where the status column is published. And the best part about this is it returns a model not found exception, which converts to a 404 on production. And that's exactly what we want. So if we swap to Chrome, we should actually see episode one hasn't changed except for our status column. And episode two actually shouldn't be reachable. We should get a 404 and we do. So that's how you set up route model binding in Laravel. Go forth and create. Thanks for watching.